Pike we expected at this point. We are no longer surprised yeah, yeah, by are, top lane Pike. We are no longer surprised by top lane Pike. Well, nothing to be surprised by. This is a typical Team Liquid composition, and if they don't get a lead early, they don't win the game. So he's feeling pretty confident about this one. And confidence in the bottom lane is double of chunk down to 200 HP. They'll find a stun and a thrash, but Yankos could go for big flight. Another flight into the flash knockup, and Core JJ will be knocked down for Yankos' second first blood of the Once again, Vault Zane. And now Jensen's got to be careful as well. Not going to hit just yet, but we know Caps can try to find something. Looks for the stun, not getting it yet. Now the rest of the squad is here, three on three. As now Perks is over the wall. This is a fight that G2 might win. Look at it, Yankos. He's flashless, and Jensen is on the board. But now it's towards Core JJ. He will be shut down as well as G2 and Answer back. To get a mountain dragon in exchange for impact, as you can see on the mini map. Outside of them losing all their summoners bot was the fact that they got oh. a lot of turret plates top, but now it could be terrible for Team Liquid. Just Ash Arrow, they hit the stun on a perk, but here comes a knockup there towards Core JJ. TP comes in as Cats joins in, they find the first. Nice stopwatch buys time, but the drag row, it's gonna be easy to juggle around as Perks finds kill number two and G2 up four to one. Now Jensen is here, but he is very much outnumbered. Dives in for a fight. Look at the crowd control has to flash away. Now it's impact on top, and it's Team Liquid looking for a comeback kill, but they cannot quite find it. Finally, Protoel gets one. Impact, he's gonna find number two. If Pike can find those kills, he very quickly comes back. There they back go. It's a flash for the first stun. Plenty of damage towards Impact, now trying to stay alive with slicing Maelstrom, but here comes Respin. Oh, Protoel buys a bit of space, but still will is activated. Hook is landed, but again, this is the weak side of the map right now for G2 because they committed two members to go kill Impact. Yeah, and I like this play from Team Liquid Kobe because they could choose to keep the pressure up if they wanted to. They've even, I'm looking at the location of the Kali right now, she's actually gone down bot. This could be winnable right now. Wonder does not have an ultimate, and the damage does come through. Jensen finds losing all across the board, and Yankos was not able to snowball kill after kill after kill. So now they're transitioning into the mid game with a 1.5k gold lead. Their cannon top is extremely strong, and Team Liquid are actually the team that's in the better position to force fights. And again, we keep looking at this cannon top impact. They continue to get stronger. They are seated right now. Demolish is on plenty of damage, finding a stun onto the support. But again, the ult comes across, stopping TL, pushing them back. Now will there be an engage? He's exhausted. He's taking a lot of damage. Impact's going to try for the play. He's already burned the flash, but he can't get into the opposing lineup and will not find a single stun. A clean disengage for G2. Kobe, I think that how each team executes upon these fights will be so crucial in how this game plays out. It's the Enchanted Crystal Arrow lands. Uh, Core J tanks it and burns the guns to get away from this one, but that is still a great Enchanted Enchanted Crystal Arrow as one turret does fall. Now the hook into his impact. They try to burn him down. He gets a stopwatch off, but not the slicing maelstrom. Here comes the engage. It's all about Olaf, and it's about a call. He wonder finds the first and impact. It's the one for one so far to the back line. Jensen finds a second. X50 is low, but the team able to push forward. Team Liquid lose the turret. They win the fight. Now it's time for round two. Jensen is low, cannot find the kill. It is Cap who says he can get the kill and sends him back to Lissandra. It's 3v3 now in this fight as the channel comes in. Look for the pull. G2 get kill number three and number four. Doublelift is alone and he will die. The ace for G2. Yeah, to capitalize on and they were able to get the output. Top side. Looking for Caps, he does have the Akali ult under his wings, so he can get really, really far. TP now comes in for the squad. Look how much damage he gets towards Jensen. Nearly picks up the kill, and the reinforcements are in. A stopwatch burn, and in goes Cannon, trying to turn it around. One for zero, make it one for one, as Wonder is now dead. x trying to stay alive with the kills. Just come through fast and furious. G2 win yet another team fight. And Barry Team Liquid will only knock down an outer turret. G2 will not be stopped this close to the championship. Things were so close between these two teams. Ooh, Caps, he's looking for Cold Hit JJ. Uh, he's gonna get that kill. I pretty much guarantee it. Braum running for his life, but he's gonna fall as well. The damage Make double have dropped about two thirds. Regening up now. This mid turret gonna be taking a lot of damage now as well. And Team Liquid unable to defend that one. It's now the arrow comes in, barely dodged away by Jensen. That could have been a kill pick. You always have the threat of a five-man in the event that TL tried to fight. Another attempt right now is pretty good damage comes out of Caps, but able to walk away, not getting caught just yet, waiting for what could be an engage out of TL. The turret chunked lower and lower. Two more cannon shots will knock it down. And right now, now looking at the bottom side, a nice stun, and Wonder kites away. Now, is this the attempt for impact? They find a slow. They find almost a stun, and Yanko's gonna burn the stopwatch. This could be the team fight. In they go, as he's still slicing Maelstrom! And it is just that, slicing up Team Liquid. And suddenly, it's one versus the world, and he cannot stop it. A clean ace, and even as fast as the last one. G2 looking at a sub 30 minute win, and they are a single game away from your first ever MSI trophy, G2, the kings of Europe, about to be the kings of the world.